somebody just worship the Lord in this moment for he is good. And he sent me here to remind you of his goodness. Hallelujah. Somebody needs to be reminded that no matter what heaviness you woke up with this morning, the Bible says Jesus is the light of the world. And those that follow him cannot walk in darkness. Your light must shine. Somebody say, my light must shine. You walk in the light and heaviness has no power over you. Darkness has no power over you, child of God. Tell somebody right now that darkness has no power over me. Oh Lord, I feel your presence in this place this morning. You know, there was a great leader in the Bible whom God used to rebuild the wall in Jerusalem. His name was Nehemiah. Come on, the enemy tried to put out Nehemiah's light so many times because he wanted Nehemiah to abort his assignment of building the wall. But no matter how he tried to snuff out the light in Nehemiah, he failed because the darkness could not overpower the light of God that was shining in and through this man Nehemiah. No matter what the enemy did, Nehemiah refused to abort his assignment. Come on somebody say, I refuse to abort my assignment. Some of you, you have been fighting and God knows that you are tired. Weariness is setting in, in your body. You are tired physically, you are tired mentally, you are tired emotionally, spiritually you are battered. So the Lord sent me here this morning to let you know, hold on just a little bit longer. Do not abort your assignment. Stay on the wall. Oh glory to God. Somebody better hashtag us. Stay on the wall. All over this Facebook live as you watch me on Facebook. You better begin to hashtag that I'm going to stay on the wall. Come on somebody in the book of Nehemiah chapter 4. I want you to get your tablets out this morning. Those of you who still have your Bibles, open up your Bible and go to the book of Nehemiah chapter 4. I want you to read from verse 1 to 9. But I'm going to reference the entire chapter as I give you this word. Somebody better type it on Facebook right now. It's a book of Nehemiah chapter 4. Come on, you got to read from verse 1 to 9. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Now, if you read from the book of Nehemiah chapter 4, it tells you the story of Nehemiah who was trying to rebuild the wall in Jerusalem and came under so many attacks, but still he prevailed. Come on, somebody. This man Nehemiah was on assignment to rebuild the ruined walls of Jerusalem. The walls were in such ruin, people of God, that the enemies of Israel thought that there was no way those walls could be rebuilt. Come on, somebody. The enemies of Israel thought the children of Israel did not have what it takes to rebuild that wall. So people of God, Nehemiah's assignment to rebuild the wall in Jerusalem came under so many attacks from his enemies, but he held fast somebody. He stayed focused. And he not only finished building that wall, but he did so in record time. Come on, somebody. Did you hear what I said? I said he did so in record time. Oh, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Come on, somebody. The Bible says in verse 7 and 8 of the scripture that when Sanballat and Tobias, the Arabs and the Ammonites and the people of Ashdod heard that the repairs to Jerusalem's walls had gone ahead despite all that they had done to sabotage the work, they became very angry. So they plotted together people of God to fight against Nehemiah and to fight against the people of God and to stir up trouble against the building of the wall. Come on, as believers, often we are on assignment for God but the devil is determined that we will not finish it. You're trying to build a church. You're trying to build a ministry and everything that could go wrong seems to be going wrong because the devil is trying to discourage you. Come on. People who used to support you, suddenly they turn against you. But can I tell somebody on this beautiful Sunday morning that everything that is meant to discourage you will come at you when you're on assignment for God. At that moment of breakthrough, the devil will throw the kitchen sink and the bath water at you. You. you are in the firing line because you are chosen by God. And when you are chosen by God, you are mocked by the enemy. Come on, somebody, you are under a microscope because of what God is doing in and through you. But God says to tell you this morning, sit in that saddle and hold on tight. Don't let go of the reins because I, the Lord, I am with you. Come on, somebody, the ship may rock, but I am your anchor, says the spirit of the living God. Don't watch the wind, says the Lord. Don't watch 
watch the storm because I am the Lord your God who speaks to the winds and I calm the storms. Oh, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Can I remind somebody who is undergoing something this morning that any man or woman who carries the anointing of God has to undergo something. You don't get power without pressure. Come on, somebody type that on Facebook. I said you don't get power without pressure. You got to push through the pain to experience the promise. If you're called by God, you will face powerful enemies. Come on, somebody. God will put a Goliath in front of you to bring out the David in you. You will experience some extraordinary battles, people of God. But with extraordinary battles come extraordinary victories. Come on, somebody. Nehemiah had to face extraordinary battles as he tried to rebuild the wall in Jerusalem. But God gave him and the people of Israel an extraordinary victory. Come on, somebody. I want to tell you right now, no matter what is coming against your assignment, set your face like a flint and push through for the victory. Come on. It don't matter who is tag teaming against you. The Bible says, behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against you shall fall for thy sake. Come on, somebody. That's the word of God. If God has put you on divine assignment, he provides divine protection. Come on, somebody. Write that right now on Facebook in the chat. If God has put you on divine assignment, he provides divine protection. Oh, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I said the devil is a liar this morning. You ain't gonna quit because I hear the Lord say I will finish it. Somebody shout, I am a finisher. Oh, glory to God. Can I remind you this morning that Nehemiah undertook the assignment to rebuild the wall in Jerusalem. And when he did, people of God, Sanballat and Tobias decided not to know our mother's graves. You ain't gonna rebuild that wall. But watch this people of God. Somebody hear me and hear me good this morning. When Jesus Jesus says yes, no man can say no. When Jesus talks, no devil can bark. The hand of God was upon Nehemiah. God is speaking to somebody this morning. God is speaking, speaking to somebody who is about to quit. You're about to walk away because the load is great and the burden is heavy. But I hear the spirit of the Lord say, it is I that began this good work in you and it is I who shall surely complete it for I am the Lord your God. The hand of God is moving upon somebody watching. The hand of God is moving upon somebody listening this morning. The voice of God is speaking in your ear. God is reassuring somebody this morning. Thus says the spirit of the living God. They will fight against you, but they will not overcome you, for I am with you and I will rescue you, declares the spirit of the living God. God says, remember what I did for Nehemiah and the enemy could not prevail against him. Come on somebody, can I call your name this morning, Wendy Williams? Can I call your name this morning, Carol Brown? Can I call your name this morning, Anne Sterling? When they rose up against Nehemiah, God rubbed salt into the wound of the enemy. They didn't think the children of Israel had what it took to rebuild that wall. But I hear the Lord say, it's not by might nor by power, but it's by my spirit. David said, for by thee I have run through a troop, and by my God have I leaped over a wall. Somebody need to hear that the warfare you are facing. It will not stop you because the spirit of God is upon you to break the bows and feather the works of the enemy. Lift up your voice this morning and give God praise for the victory. Somebody needs to hear this. The Lord says to tell you, you don't need a huge army. Gideon didn't need an army of 30,000. He just needed an army of one. I decree that when God is in it, you must win it. Come on somebody. God says don't worry about the size of the army that is being raised up to fight you. Look the devil in the eye and say, Though an army may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war may rise against me, in this God will I be confident. I decree that every plan of the enemy against you must fail. Every wicked portfolio against your assignment, it shall come to naught. No weapon formed against you, my brother, will prosper. No weapon formed against you, my sister, will prosper. God has built an army round and about you. God says don't abort the assignment because I have sent you divine help. Oh, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Am I preaching to somebody this morning? Wherever you are listening from across the tri-state area, come on somebody, if you're in New York, New Jersey or Connecticut, if you're listening online, if you're watching on Facebook, I said don't abort the assignment because God has sent you divine help. Oh, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. Can I remind somebody this morning that there are more for you than there are against you? Psalm 34 and verse 7 says, The angel of the Lord encounteth round and about them that fear him and delivereth him. Somebody's about to get your deliverance this morning. You better believe and receive it. Fear not, for God has got you locked in. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near your dwelling. Oh, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. As I prepare to pray for the people of God this morning, let me just say to you, rise up and let out your roar. This is a war cry from the saints of God who are standing in their post and letting the enemy know on this beautiful Sunday morning that we shall not be moved. We are not abandoning the assignment. Come on, somebody.